Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. The Frameline Film Fest isn't afraid to cover sensitive subjects, and for the 39th year, its films are coming to big screens across the Bay. Peter Stein and Malachi Leopold will give us the highlights of this year's fest. Thanks so much for coming on. Thanks for having us. All Great right. to be here. All right, so there's a lot to cover, right, for yeah. this year's <laughs> festival. Yeah. Some of them, uh, tell me about, let's just start, Game Changers. Oh, yeah. Well, um, We've, as you mentioned earlier, there's 180 films from 33 countries. Amazing. But one of the interesting focuses that came up for us this year, um, covering LGBTQ topics, is a lot of films about sports, about the intersection of athletics, professional sports, amateur sports, and what it means to be out when you're an athlete. And so we've got some tremendous films, documentaries, one called Out to Win, uh, another one called uh, Mind Game, another one called Game Face. It's, some, of the some of the titles actually run together. But what's interesting is that you've got now a whole group of young athletes, Jason Collins, yes. um, Shamiqua Holtzclaw, others, uh, who are coming forth saying it's possible to be playing your best and be out in a professional context, but the challenges are still there. It's sort of the last closet door that's beginning to come down. Sure. When they finally came out uh, to the public, did you think it's about time? Yeah. I mean, many. Yeah, many why did it take so long? <laughs> many of us in the LGBT community felt like, okay, it's about time, but it's still sure. a s sensitive topic. There's still questions about, you know, what are the relationships like between teammates? Uh, gay and lesbian players and transgender players still um, have difficulty getting sponsorship deals. Mm -hmm. So that's what some of these six different film programs um, uh, uh, confront. And you uh, you mentioned the emergence of uh, these first-time feature directors, but you also like local directors as well. We do, and we've got one with us today. <laughs> today. Yes, Malachi, Malachi. Malachi, tell me about your film. So Alex and Ali um, is kind of like a modern-day Romeo and Juliet, um, where the families, if you will, are of the United States and Iran. Um, the film tells the epic love story of an American and an Iranian gay couple who were reunited after a 35-year separation. Wow. And chaos ensues. Okay, well, we have a trailer for that, so let's take a look. Did you ever have a direct conversation with your parents about being gay? No, not direct. These are pictures of Ali and me when we took trips together in Iran. Here's Ali sitting on the Caspian Sea, and then there's the one of him looking like the French movie star Alain Delon. We were, we were connected, we were, we were soulmates. We all arrived here in mid-July, 1967. It was an absolutely idyllic summer, it really was. Did your mom or dad ever meet Ali? No. We started off as lovers. The radio and record play were both going, and a moment later, I glanced up to see Ali looking at me. He said, in clear English, I love you. So it really is a love story. Tell me about uh, being outed in Iran. That has to be just a completely different experience than here. Slightly. Yes. Yes. Um, the, the interesting thing about um, Iran is that it's still one of the, I believe, seven countries right now where you can be executed um, if it's proven that you're gay. Um, what the interesting thing that Ali faced, he, was, he, he never came out. Um, it's one of the things that the film explores is how he will, how he'll grapple with um, the need to identify as gay in order to be able to go through the process of becoming a refugee. Mm -hmm. um, their goal, as the story sets out, is for them to have a permanent reunion here in the United States. But because of immigration laws um, that are discriminatory, um, it doesn't allow couples who are gay to be able to go through the same process that a straight couple would. Mm -hmm. So the only option is for someone to go through the process of becoming a refugee um, or um, coming into the United States illegally um, and then trying to, um, uh, trying to seek asylum. It seems like a beautiful but complicated story. So can't wait to see and that. Incredibly well made. And, and it, we're, we're running it twice during the, the twice. festival. Running it twice. It's yes. so good you're running it twice. So good. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so what can festival goers, what can they expect? What uh, do you want them to get out of well, going to a festival? Many frame line screenings, as much as they often deal with, with uh, difficult topics like some, some of the human rights issues that Malachi sure. talked about and some you know current affairs issues like the, um, the sports things that we uh, mentioned, uh, we've got a tremendous amount of fun films uh, from 33 countries. We have the Bay Area premiere 
premiere of Magic Mike XXL, just complete, you know, for those who like their beefcake. Uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> uh, we <laughs> have that at the that? Castro Theater. <laughs> um, we've got a tribute to matinee idol Tab Hunter, who was a huge in the 50s and 60s. He was kind of the, the Hollywood kind of icon, and he had to keep his sexuality in the closet in order to have a career, so he'll be here sure. uh, next Saturday. So a lot of fun, June 18th through the 28th. Yep. All right, well, for more for tickets to the Frameline Film Festival, just log on to frameline.org. Again, that's frameline.org. That's it for this week. We'll be back with more Bay Area Focus next week. Have a great day.